A very warm welcome to PCE Instruments, your manufacturer of test and measuring instruments for industry, trade and research. I have brought you one of PCE's flow and heat output meters here, the PCE TDS 200 Plus. This is a device from the PCE TDS 200 series. And so we see that it is a mobile device for the service technician who works with the systems and has to take measurements regularly. We see a device with a very clear 2.8 inch graphic display. And I can work my way through here and we can see that graphs can also be displayed. Live measurements can be shown here on the display. And if I go into the menu of this test instrument, we can also see that we have a whole host of different settings. For example, we can enter some information about the pipes in which we make our measurements. We can select which pipe material is used here. We can also specify the wall thickness and other important information, such as the pipe's lining. And what is of course also a very important piece of information is the medium that we are measuring. The medium that flows through the pipe. So we see that it is not only possible to measure water but also various oils, including diesel, gasoline and petroleum. Let's go back again. We have the option of connecting various sensors to this device. We have the PCE TDS 200S sensor, which I can show you here. This is a sensor for pipe diameters of 15 to 100 millimeters, as you can see printed on the sensor. But there is also the PCE TDS 200M sensor, for example, which I can also show you here. You can see that we are talking about pipe diameters of up to 700 millimeters. And if we look at the bottom here, we can see the Pieto crystal again, which helps us to carry out ultrasound measurements. And if we go further in the menu, we have many more options. Measurement methods. There are different measurement methods for attaching the sensors. Either the Z method, where we measure diagonally through the pipe. We can also use the V method, where we install both sensors on one side of the pipe and measure a reflection. Of course, the measuring device has to know which way we are measuring, so we have to enter that information. And a few other things. I would like to show you one particularly nice thing. Once we have made all these settings, we are shown graphically how we need to install the sensors, depending on the pipe material and the measurement method. And we also see a display down here. And as we can only do a dry run in the studio, of course, I went down into the cellar and attached the sensors to a real water pipe. And we can see that the quality display moves well into the green range and also that the distance display is within the green range. And if you switch through the menus and let water flow through the pipe, we can also see that measurements are being recorded here. The PCE TDS Plus version of this device also has connections for temperature sensors up here. This makes it possible to measure the heat output if we want to determine the quantity of heat of the liquid in a pipe. And then, when we make the relevant settings, this measuring device can also display the costs associated with the heat transfer. This is one of the special features of this device. What is also possible is that the device has an integrated data logger. I went back into the menu to use this function. And if I go in here, we can enter start conditions, stop conditions, intervals, and data records. You can record up to 10 million data records with this model. And we see a USB interface at the bottom of the meter. So it is also possible to transfer these data records to the computer or laptop. And the device can be ordered with an optional Windows software, which also helps us to analyze the data that we have collected with the device. All in all, this is an indispensable tool for a service technician when working on site. That's it from me for today. Make sure you keep everything flowing and see you next time. Discover and order the latest measuring and test equipment now on www.pce-instruments.com